Well, I've been looking through all my video clips taken while we were traveling through the Black Forest. And I've realized I can bolt them together and make a reasonable five minute production. So uh, if you'll bear with me, here we go. We are traveling along the Black Forest High Road. We've just left, well I say we've just left, we've left Baden-Baden this morning and we seem to be going up for hours and hours and uh, here we are sort of vaguely near the top and as you can see surprisingly enough it's all forest. You may sometimes hear the dulcet tones of my navigator as she guides me through these roads. It's pretty um, deserted round here. You get the odd hotel, but that's all. It seems to be the highest point. So we've stopped here alongside the road uh, to see what uh, sort of view there is. But first of all, here comes the main industry round here. Indeed, that's fairly obvious, isn't it? Let's have a look over here. We're actually looking towards France because we're not that far away. Down below you see the plain and if you could see any further, which you can't today, you'd see the Vosges mountains in France. So here we are in Triborg, the centre of the Black Forest and Nielsen has been dragged up the highest waterfall in Germany. It seems to go on forever and ever, but it's well worth the climb. You can see it all going down the mountainside. Wonderful. And we're now going down to the railway station to enjoy one of the great things about the Black Forest, which is that you have a Black Forest card which you get free of charge and you can use it on any sort of train journey. And this one is rather special because we're going on a, a double decker train you can see here and you get a wonderful view. is that this line was built by a famous German engineer whose name of course I have forgotten and it was a very difficult country and it was the first real mountain railway and he later went on to conquer the Alps in Switzerland and believe it or not this track twists and turns and goes through tunnel after tunnel and it's really quite an interesting journey. Whoops, yet another tunnel. I haven't worked it out exactly, but I must tell you that the Black Forest covers an enormous area. Something like the whole southeast, or certainly possibly even the south of England. It is a long way from north to south and west to east. And this is fairly typical countryside. Here we are entering the town of Hornburg. And we drove through here a few days ago in the Heimer. Well, that concludes the rail part of our journey. Uh, so it's back to the station and just a quick laugh at how they handle smoking in Germany. Look here at the station cafeteria. Large table, smoking above it. <laughs> it's quite amazing. 100 meters, turn right. 
there we are, heading south. And there's trouble between the cameraman and the director. Just listen. I'm not quite sure what you mean when you wave your hand. I don't know, I was pointing at the logs. Well, I, I suggest you say logs to the right or something like that. Give, give us a clue. I'm looking at the screen here, All right? So now we've arrived in Freiburg. It's a Saturday, it's raining. And we're looking around the streets and then we go to the Market Square, which you can see here. And in this, it's a lovely market by the way, in this there's the cathedral and we put our heads inside and discover that there is a free concert going on, a free organ recital. So we sit down for about half an hour and listen to it. <laughs> 